have two modules in this system but the software module and the hardware module the software module basically consists of a final trained model that can detect the objects using image processing algorithms the hardware module consists of the hardware parts required to segregate the waste and dispose of them appropriately so here we've used the raspberry pi processor to hold the trained model uh, a pi camera to take pictures of the garbage that needs to be segregated and a robotic arm to make do the segregation the methodology of the system is as follows the pi camera which is attached to the raspberry pi processor will take a picture of the waste that needs to be segregated this image will be sent to the raspberry pi which contains the trained software model that can detect the recyclable objects once it detects the recyclable all the recyclable objects it gives the coordinates of these objects these coordinates are transmitted to the robotic arm which is controlled by the raspberry pi to pick up the recyclable objects and dispose of them in the appropriate bin the image processing algorithm that we've used to detect the objects is called yolo or you only look once we've used the tiny version so as to not need graphic processor units to run the process yolo is a convolutional neural network consisting of 12 layers and two fully connected layers which are the yolo layers the yolo layers are where the object detection happens there are two instances of, of this uh, for better accuracy the procedure that this image processing algorithm follows is it divides an image into a 13 by 13 grid and performs object detection within each grid and can detect up to five objects within a grid. It assigns a class probability to each grid and thus makes the conclusion of the final boundaries of a specific object by combining the confidence of the object being detected as well as the probability that of which class it belongs to. Once it has a confident result, it gives the final bounding box of the object. This way, YOLO considers the global context of the image and accurately predicts the size and location of the recyclable waste. We use YOLO algorithm over RCNN or fast RCNN because YOLO can see the global context and make decisions by considering the entire image at once instead of specific grids, unlike RCNN. We used a data set of over 10,000 images of five classes. The classes that we are trying to detect in this system are glass, metal, paper, plastic, and wood. So we have included about 2,000 images of each category within the data set and trained the YOLO algorithm on this data set. While training on the data set, we split the data set randomly into a test and a training set. Once the training was done, the model was evaluated on a test set of about 2000 images. The evaluation metrics are as follows. It achieved a mean average precision of 61.47%. Mean average precision refers to the accuracy with which the predicted bounding box of the correct class of the object is matching the original values. F1 score of 57% was achieved. We had a false positive of 28% and true positive of 51.5%. When we come to the hardware module, it consists of the robotic arm. Uh, it is a four degree of freedom robotic arm that we've used, along with the Pi camera, which is attached to the Raspberry Pi. The Raspberry Pi receives the image from the Pi camera, as well as controls the robotic arm to pick up the objects. In order for the robotic arm to accurately pinpoint the location of the objects. We divided the workspace into a grid of 12 by 8 and assigned a function for each grid space. So when an object is detected within a grid, the robotic arm is automatically called towards that grid to pick up the object. These grids are activated by grid functions with the name of the grid, namely A1 to H12. Here, two functions are defined. One is throw, to throw the picked up recyclable object into the bin and A1 which is the name of the A1 grid. Here we see the output of the software model that we have trained using YOLO. The Pi camera sends the picture on the left hand side 
to the Raspberry Pi, where the image is processed, sent to the neural network only once, and the objects, recyclable objects, are detected. Uh, there are plastic and metal objects detected within this image, and bounding boxes are drawn around them, giving their location. These location coordinates are transmitted to the robotic arm, which then picks up the objects and drop them into the bin, as seen in this video.